Hey y'all. So I thought we would do kind of an old school challenge. The four x four build challenge, which is basically it's just a four by four house and you have to try to make a house out of that. But you can go up or down, but you can't go any further out. So it's pretty hard. I haven't done this in a hot minute, but like look at the area we're working with. Beautiful, beautiful. So I thought we would give it a go. Okay, so four by four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why is that so much smaller than I thought it was gonna be? I don't know why, but I thought like for some reason I was imagining like this in my mind and I was like, yeah, that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But like this is way more complicated than I thought. So what I might end up doing just to make it look a little cuter, I might add like some little bump outs and stuff, but like nothing that's like functional in the house. I think like if I were to add a little bump out or something here What I would probably end up doing is I'll just like leave the wall there to like windows Might look kind of cuter or something even though it doesn't go anywhere because I don't, I don't want to cheat You know I'm like come on cute. Okay. Anyways, sometimes it's hard to make a box look cute That's all I'm saying. What if I did some sort of like wraparound porch would that look like crazy or would that make it actually look good so like if we took this and like wrapped it or maybe if i only did it on one side that could make it a little less boxy feeling because we could add a ceiling onto it and then this doesn't add actually any extra walls could add a couple of columns i don't know where the door is gonna go maybe like right over here so we'll put some extra columns down in the middle maybe some of these could be nice just to spruce it up and then if we were to put a roof on this let's use this one Let's see how it looks interesting the only thing that i don't like is that it sticks out on this side so let me see if i can fix that okay i'm thinking about doing something like this i think that can look cute if i put like these giant thick ones on there maybe maybe again i don't know how far up i'm gonna have to go because i can also go down so these the problem with how small they are is that like a staircase takes up actually it is not big enough oh maybe if i curved it yes okay if i curved it it would work but like look at how much space it takes up it takes up the whole room looks cute though probably want to use a ladder in this sort of house because that only takes up literally one square so that's probably ideal i've got this cool trellis one which is kind of fun it definitely looks better on the outside than just the inside probably end up going with this guy and then we can go up beautiful thing about that we can probably also go down which i think we might have to do because Okay, when you walk in, I'm thinking about putting the door like right there, or should I center it? I feel like I have to use a single door. I mean, I just feel like a double door. We don't have room for a double door, even though I love to have a double door. Personally, they're my favorite. This is giving me farmhouse vibes. So I'm happy to go kind of along with that. Like if it were me, bestie, I'd be doing that. Look how good that looks. Well, you're gonna look at that and tell me that I'm wrong. It takes up a lot of space. It's so pretty though. I shouldn't have put it down. It just looks too good. Now nothing's gonna look as good. I do have this custom door, but it doesn't have any windows on it and I feel like for a front door I think I just need some sort of like I need to be able to look outside and see that there's nature out there you know so I'm thinking either a door like this maybe this one could be good even this one's not bad because it's curved and it looks really cute on the inside for now I'm going with this I do sort of wish I was like I could scoot it there but I'll be the first to admit that that doesn't look great from the outside so I'd like to have a window or something but like do we have room for that this is gonna be so hard because like it feels like all the windows are too big oh what if I use this one one. Okay, the door isn't quite tall enough, but check that out. That's really pretty. I feel like I need a different door if I do that though, but it's so pretty. This door also slaps. Like, look at that detail. You know what? I actually have the perfect idea for this. What if I then put an outdoor light like right above the door to like fill in that gap? I mean, I don't know if it helps from the inside. We could also put something on the inside, put like a sconce or even like a, I don't know, a wreath or <laughs> something, something above the door. Okay, turns out this is a little harder than I thought. I'm gonna have to find something like pretty short, maybe something like this it's like a little bit weird looking but it does light it up i'm thinking about keeping this color for the door uh kind of half matching ones i feel like this one's the best i like this vibe of it it almost makes it look like a building that should be in new york city i don't know if anyone else is getting that vibe that might just be me that's kind of like a weird one i don't know what to do for the roof though like something sideways if i should flip it and do sort of a similar vibe here because we could definitely do something like this and put like a super cute little round window up here better yet I'll do the one with the little bee in it. Cute. No, wait, this looks better. Sorry to that bee. I do feel like there should be something here too, but it's like such a tiny space. I don't know if the double round window is like kind of weird. I could also do something like that. No, no. I like the round window. Nothing's gonna top that for me. We'll see about this one. I'm undecided if I like it or not. I guess I should choose a wallpaper because what I'm thinking is I'll have this be like a kitchen 
this up here can be like, I think a bedroom. And then if we go below, we can actually make a basement. And I think that could be a really cool uh, living room. I think that would be really cozy. Minus the fact that there would be no windows. I don't know what to do. That seems like the best course of action. And then boom, we have a basement. I'll just bring the ladder back down in the same exact spot. Just kidding, you can't do that. I thought if I put it there, that it would just go all the way up. How did I not know that? I hate it. I'm so sorry, but I really hate that. I like the way that looks, but to get down here, to get to your bedroom. How do I fit a bed in there though, if I do that? The stairs don't fit going straight. I might have to do another ladder, but let's see if I can fit a double bed. Uh, kinda. I'm not totally sure if it's functional. I was gonna put a little end table right there, but then I know you can't get there. I know you can't get in the bed. There's no way to make this work with the staircase. So ideally I'd like to have the bed in the center of the room if I can. And I guess I could maybe scoot it over and just have like really tiny end tables. I guess I am gonna have to use a ladder, but I think you are gonna have to go outside the house. Actually, wait, no, that doesn't make sense either because it's right below this. So you'd have to be inside the house. Oh my God. Okay, well then let me ask you this. If I were to go up again, I still can't use the same ladder. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether or not I've got a third floor going up or a third floor going down. It doesn't actually matter, but that's horrible. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. I could do something like this. My God, I hate this so much. Now I'm starting to wonder if I should just try to fit everything in these two rooms. I need a bathroom. I just remembered. Okay, so my original plan was to make this whole room a kitchen. That way it could be like a little bit bigger, but I think now we are going for small scale everything. And I I still do need a bathroom. So if I can try to do this with two floors and not have this, I'm gonna try, but I am not feeling very confident. We can kind of block this off with a bathroom area. See, I don't know if like a bathroom that skinny is functional. I don't know, it, it isn't. I know the answer to that question and it's not. It'd have to be like this at least. Or you know what? No, I think I know a trick. We could do this. I think that'll work. Let me check. So the idea is you've got sink and you've got a toilet, a spot to walk in. Oh wait, would it be functional if I used one of these? Yes. I think it would be. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more space. I'm gonna have to use some like pretty skinny doors. I'd also make this door blue just because I love having fun. Is this round door too much with this round door? It's so beautiful. Actually, what if I rearranged it to be like this instead? Or even to this. I like that even more. Cause then you've got this whole wall for like a kitchen and I don't know how I'm gonna fit a whole kitchen in here with it being functional. Where am I gonna put the fridge? Cause it's not like I can do this. You can't get through there. No sink, no oven. Okay, I'm trying to think if I could use utilize like this area over here. I know it cuts into the window because then I could kind of bring this around over here. Or maybe I should flip it, I don't know. This looks so bad with the windows. We could put things above the cabinets here. We actually do have room, believe it or not. So then basically over here is where we'd have a sink and an oven, I guess. I mean, you technically could put the sink right next to the fridge and then put an oven over here. Like maybe right here, plop one of those in there. I don't hate that. And I'd put down a microwave, but you that really only leaves you with like two spots to prepare food and that's not very much. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm also gonna change the color palette here. I like this light wood that I'm going with for the whole house, except for this little pop of blue, which is so cute. Uh, I guess I should put down a flooring or something. This has been like my go-to flooring. I love it so much. It's cheap. She matches the vibes. And for wallpaper, do I have custom ones? Here's what we can add in some color. Maybe we could add in some more of that blue. This is like a Tiffany blue, very specific. I would argue that it's maybe more of a green. Oh, we could do a wallpaper, that's fun makes this rather boring space a little less boring. So I might do some solid walls, maybe a solid wall there, but I think that's pretty cool. All right, in here, let's go light and bright for flooring, same. Oh, I need a light in there. Oh, where did my light go? Is that why it's so dark in here? I had a light in here, I don't know where it went. I think it might be right in this wall. I think that's why it's so dark. That's better, okay. I was wondering what was going on there. This flooring is actually like a little too white. Do they have like a, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. That matches a little bit better, that's nice. So for the bathroom, what if we did like a black hardware situation just to give it some contrast? Whoa, a little too much. Oh, this is cool. Let's get a really funky mirror. This one is always fun. I wish I could put this one, but it's just too big. Oh wait, this is actually perfect. That fits so well. This is like a very modern bathroom. Just got for a totally different vibe in here. Okay, that could fit. Might need to size these down just 
just a smidge, smidge, smidge. There we go. What could be kind of cool here is if I put like a shelf. Oh, I can change the picture and the frame of this. Oh, I could do a black frame, but I might bring back some of that wood tone that I like. So then on here, we can put like bathroom things. Yeah, like I have makeup I could put on there. I might have to do like the whole, I'm just gonna do the trick where I lift it up myself. Is it slightly floating? Just a tiny bit, not enough for me to care. Maybe we can have this bar of soap up there. It's kind of far away from this, but that's fine. Put down a towel here and put down a towel here for the shower. And last but not least, we'll put down some toilet paper. Very, very good. Okay, that bathroom is complete. I actually think it's pretty cute. I wanted to try to put curtains on these windows because I think it would look really homey. It is gonna clip through though, but honestly, I'm fine with it. I really am. So then upstairs, first of all, let's do the wallpaper. Let's go back to these cute ones. I wanted to use this one because I really like the look of it being like painted over the molding as well. I thought that's so cool. They've got like this green color, which I absolutely love. They've got like this really deep blue. They've got a pink. Oh, I might use the pink. That's really cute. It goes good with the floor too. I like that. Okay, so up here, I need to try to make this like a bedroom, living room situation. It's gonna be tough. We don't need a bathroom. It's downstairs. And I'm thinking the three necessities you really need, kitchen, bathroom, bed, right? You can lounge on your bed. No problem. But having a couch is so cute. <laughs> we'll see if we can fit one, but I doubt it. So I'm gonna try to use this custom one. I might try to squeeze it over here. No, I'm gonna use this bed frame instead. We can change this to match the wood tone and then we can- That is so cute! Oh my God, I love these patterns. Okay, let's go with that. I really, really, really want an end table like this. It's so cute. I'm wondering, like, is that super funky if I try to like squeeze that in? We can put the tight screen. I can try to like scoot this over. I gotta try to like line up the bedding with the bed frame. It's kind of hard. What if I change these to match? I oh, I can change that to pink. Is this weird? Should I like just not have one? Should I just have like one inside or bedside table? Like, should I just have the one? This is kind of crazy that you might roll out of your bed and fall downstairs. Realistically, I would be putting a fence around this, but I don't know if I have room for that. I don't even know if that'll work. I've never done it around a ladder. I mean, cause they would get off on this side, right? I guess technically that works. I just gotta find one that I I like, I guess. I mean, I guess I could do something like that. I mean, I think that looks a lot cuter than just having it open. Okay, over here, we're gonna put some candles down. Now, I would really love to be able to put a dresser in here, but I don't know how big of a priority it is to me. Like, we could definitely fit one right here. That does mean we sacrifice space for other things. Like, is there anywhere to put some sort of chair? Not really. You could sit on your bed, I guess. <gasps> Wait, I stand corrected. That fits perfectly. Wait, hold on. Kind of. I can make it work. I'd like to be able to put the mirror in there too. You know the one. You already know which one. This guy. Maybe I could sort of like squeeze it behind the chair a little bit. I think that's kind of cool. I do think it would be kind of cool to have some sort of activity in the house, whether it's painting or whatever. I mean, there's no, there's literally no room to sit down and eat, which I just realized. And there's also, <gasps> that's not true. We could put outdoor furniture on the patio. Does that count though? Is that technically still four by four? If I'm putting furniture here, wait, can they bring food upstairs? Can you walk up a ladder with food in your hand? I don't feel like that sounds possible. That sounds really hard. Maybe I just go for aesthetics and not really like functionality. Like maybe I just need to give up that dream. I'm gonna make like a little collage over here. And then above the bed, I really also wanted to try to incorporate some books. Does this pile of books function as a bookcase? That's kind of absurd. I kind of like, I kind of prefer it on the floor. Like, oh, my house is just so small. I don't have room for a bookcase. So I just throw my books on the floor. Makes perfect sense. So I don't know if there's any sort of um, activities that I could hang on the wall above someone's bed. And I would love for them to be able to use like a laptop or something, but it's just not working out. Outside? I could do it outside. I don't know if people will be mad. Oh, what if I put more windows on the back wall? I didn't even think about putting windows in the back because I thought, well, no one's gonna be able to see it. Wait a minute, I kind of don't mind this. I don't know if that interferes with the shower at all. I feel like it probably does. Oh, there's no plants in this house. That is so sad. Okay. I love these custom flowers that I have. They're gorgeous. I also have these. You know what, actually? I can put these right here because they can't use corner cabinets anyways. And I'll use these, uh, this like candle holder. That's really cute. Your flowers might catch on fire, but like it's gonna be worth the aesthetic, you know what I mean? I think we could probably also put like this open book. You know what I should actually do? I should probably put a TV here. I can slightly rotate it to where like when you're sitting on the bed, it's facing you a little bit more. I feel like that is the way. Unfortunately, I don't have anything I can put a laptop on, not even on one of these. Anyway. 
anyways, we'll just put some room clutter here. Some little workout clutter. Maybe one of these absolutely gorgeous paintings of a farm. I love it. I'd like to put something there, but again, I don't think I can. However, a rug could be great. Like a nice rug under the bed. Could do this fuzzy one. Could do one of these round ones too, which I do think kind of fits the vibe in here. I think that's kind of cute actually. I think I'm done. Well, not done yet. I have to do the outside. As you can tell, I did not put wallpaper out there. Unfortunately, I don't have anywhere for them to like eat food. So I am gonna cheat just ever so slightly. I'm sure you'll find it in your heart to forgive me one day, but I am going to put down a little bit of patio furniture out here just for them to be able to sit down and eat some food. Just a very small little table. But first let's do some wallpaper. I did put down like a sort of light bluish foundation sort of style because it matches the door, which I like. But as far as like what I'm gonna actually do out here, I have literally no idea. If we wanna go for the old school New York look, we could do like a brick, sort of like a brownstone-esque type of style. It doesn't fit the vibe at all of where we're located in the world. This is like prime farmland. Maybe I should just do siding. I don't know if I wanna do blue. Is blue too much? Should I just do white? Okay, I'm gonna go with white and then I'm gonna do some accents. So first let's make the roof a little darker. That'll make it stand out a little bit more, a little pop there. Ooh, or I could do this. This matches the brown tone actually. I might go with that. I'm still not totally convinced that I love Love this little window right here, but I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I think I do want to do like a like a stone sort of accent somewhere or something. I just don't know what. Or having like a brick upstairs only. Well, wait just a minute. I kind of like the whole thing being brick now. What's going on here? Why is this so hard to decide? Also, before we even continue, this needs columns around the edges like yesterday. I can't believe it took me this long to even do it. Okay, that already looks literally a thousand times better. Next, I want to add my beautiful, beautiful favorite item in the game. Oh wait, how am I gonna do this? The windows are all the way to the floor. I can try to add something like this. This one works really well. It's like it was made for it. Obviously you need a staircase going up here. There's this absolute stunning matching one that we can use. It's beautiful. Okay, I've added the window boxes in the back. I've added some railings, some stairs. It's looking pretty cute. All right, so I've changed the wallpaper again because I genuinely cannot figure out what I like. Now I've gone for this distressed look, which somehow I like better. I don't know. I'm gonna add. That is so cute. Are you kidding? I'm gonna add this trellis here. I might add in just a little accent there so it doesn't look too stale. Definitely going to be trying to do this to the other side. So cute. Uh, then I'm adding in like some of these little ivy pieces we have. This is kind of cool to sit like right under the roof line. Okay, I've literally covered this house in ivy, except for in the back. There's literally nothing stopping me. How cute is that? Gorgeous. That just makes it look 10 times less boring on this huge giant lot that I put it on. Okay, so I'm thinking we just sort of like put a table here and then like two chairs on the side. So something like that is like perfectly fine. I think a little rug could be cute as long as it doesn't cut through to the inside. Oh, it does a little bit. What about this guy? Ooh, downsize that a little bit. Does cut in like a tiny bit, but I mean, uh, who cares? Who cares? Maybe I'll put a little plant there on the side. I like it. I think it's like really nice. It's coming along. I'm gonna also put a rug right there on the ground. And then for landscaping, I'm gonna do a swirly path like this. Let's get a cute little mailbox. And this is my lazy way of doing landscaping. I know I'm not the only one who does this, but I feel like this is the lazy way because it's just, it's too easy and it always looks good. Is to just use this object and size it up because then everything looks lush and you can like use the normal size of it to fill in the gaps and to give it some more dimension. Just look at that, like this little small piece right there. Can line this up with some smaller pieces. And then when you get back up here, boom, it gets big again. Maybe I should move the mailbox like down there. Like that is the way to go. Look at how pretty that looks. Now, if I was on a smaller lot where all you could see was like this, <laughs> it would look way better because now I feel like I have to fill in the whole entire lot with this. And I don't really want to do that. So here's what I'm gonna do. My new favorite trick in the world. We're fencing it off, baby. I mean, literally check that out. That looks so much better. And I can actually probably make this just a little smaller. Gorgeous. So then you could have a farm and whatever back there. My one and only weakness though is trees. I just don't know how to do trees. I've never been able to figure it out. And to this day, I'm still not totally sure how to make them look good. But I'm gonna go with this because I feel like this doesn't look bad. I'm gonna add this like little piece right here too, just cause it adds a little something to a very straight and boring sort of wall. Anyways, I think I'm done. I think that is my four by four house with 
A little added patio. Look, all I did was add two chairs and a small table and a plant and a rug. All right, I didn't, do, I didn't go crazy. But you know, inside, we've got the cute kitchen. Oh, I didn't put anything on the wall. I feel bad. I've got two paintings. <laughs> That's just a little bit better. And then if you come around here and go in here, you have a shower. I mean, a bathroom. <laughs> You've got a shower and that's it. This isn't too bad. I mean, it's obviously very tiny, but I feel like it looks pretty cute. I wish the towels weren't like next to each other though. That's my only complaint, but that's my own fault. So then you go up the ladder and into the bedroom, which I'll be honest with you. I'd love to have a bedroom like this. I think it's so cozy and cute, small, but like so cozy. You could watch your little TV on your bed. You've got your stack of books, your nice little hanging chair, big mirror, beautiful paintings. Beautiful view. It's funny that the windows are like a little off to the bed though, but that's fine. I'm not, I'm not about to change it. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like from the outside. There she is, baby. I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really, really appreciate it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.